Let me take you down a road that you're probably not even aware of. While you're on Facebook or social media and other websites, you will constantly see posts saying this food has been taken off the shelf, that food's been taken off the shelf. But you need to start asking yourself some simple questions. Why is this happening? We have millions of Americans that are getting diabetes. We have millions of Americans that are getting obese. Can this be contributed from the food they're serving us? Well, here's a particular article about China's problem with garbage. They have a huge waste problem, and they are looking for any way possible to get rid of it. So they are breeding these type of cockroaches that will eat 25,000 tons of rubbish every day. And they are actually opening two or three more facilities. And then the cockroaches themselves will be farmed to put in food. One thing I've noticed about China is it continues to do the same things over and over. Let's have a look at this article. Canola oil, a chemical, I can't even really pronounce that, carcinogen, that doesn't belong anywhere near our food. But yet they're talking about how this is in this oil. And they talk about the problem with it. But yet, you're buying it off the shelves and you're eating it. You will see a lot of words like genetically modified. Things that cause cancer. Things they use in pesticides. This is what your country's feeding you. Most Americans buy chicken because chicken is the most affordable meat you can buy. But you are literally consuming chlorine. And it's A-OK. -okay. The United States has a Food and Drug Administration, yet it doesn't seem to do its job. Literally what's happened, the meat is so dirty from the chickens being placed on top of each other and urinating and the feces that the meat... It's horrible. So they douse it with bleach to clean it off and chlorine water is sprayed all over the chicken meat so you don't know. This has been going on for years. 97% of your American chicken meat is treated with chlorine and being sold to you. But yet, everybody is upset by government. I have said this multiple times. You need to start looking in your own backyard. Your own government is killing you. You are protesting the wrong things. Do you not think your health is more important? How many chickens do you eat a month? Or are you one of the few that's a vegetarian? Millions of people every day eat at McDonald's. I still have not figured out why people still eat at these places. They must like committing suicide. Literally, these companies put sawdust, they have pesticides in McDonald's fries. It's unbelievable. I'm showing you article after article. Links are in the description. They are killing you. And yet we have all these recalls. 100,000 pounds of ground beef for possible E. coli contamination. What do they do with this stuff? Do they throw it in the garbage? Or do they use it in your dog food? I don't know. And I wouldn't doubt they're using it somewhere. Because if they're willing to put bleach in my food, they're willing to put anything in my food. I don't understand why we're getting a lot of food from china they don't like us they don't care for us all they want is their money and yet you can find articles on what they're doing tilapia fish you see this in the supermarket every day i still see it for sale and i'm like 
Why is that still on the shelf? If it's on the shelf, it means people are buying it. If it's not on the shelf, that means people stop buying it. This is actually farmed in entire pools of human waste. When you eat this fish, you are eating human feces. How about codfish? That's a big one we like to eat in America. Hey, let's eat healthy, right? How about apple juice? Processed mushrooms, pr Chinese garlic. Oh, garlic is the worst. Unless you see roots on that garlic, you're literally buying just full of chemicals. You know, they just put chemicals on it to keep it white, to keep it from growing, all kinds of stuff. And again, we're back to the chicken. How about plastic rice? How about I sell you some fake rice that is made out of plastic? You'll never know, right? Wait, how about some mud? I'll take some mud and I'll ground it up and make you think it's black pepper and salt to you. This is real. This is what you guys are eating. Why is our government in USA bringing food from China into our country when they obviously don't want to keep us healthy? Now, one of the biggest things that countries do in our own country is once you learn a bad word and you learn the word MSG, everybody heard this when you went and ate at a Chinese morgue. You were like, oh, I can't eat there no more. They got MSG. Really? Let's rename it. Let's actually confuse people into believing it is something else and allow them another five or ten years to finally figure out we've now called it something else. Interesting, isn't it? We see all kinds of protests happening across the world for many things. But yet, nine people die because of frozen vegetables, and it becomes a blurp on the internet. Oh, well, it wasn't me, thank God. At least it didn't get me. But nobody's looking at this saying, is there a pattern? How could California be the source for tainted romaine lettuce? DA tells CBS this morning it is looking at California as a potential... How can California be the source of romaine lettuce? I mean, come on. California has got more rules and regulations than any other state. If they can't control things, we're in trouble. Everybody talks about cancer and hating it. But yet they're breeding cancer. I mean, literally. BPA is terrible for your health, which is why, why it's baffling that so many products contain it. They are trying to give you cancer. What is going on? Smoked foods, farmed fish, grilled foods, oils, microwave popcorn. Yeah, keep buying that stuff. That's good for you. Yep, refined sugar. How about sodas? Everybody that when I'm in Walmart and walking through, I see just cases and cases of soda. I gotta have my soda. I need my sugar fix. Really? Do you really need that stuff that's killing you? Refined grains. Oh, I could have a salad. Any processed food. Let that sink in. Any processed food. Why are you not exercising what's killing you with your dollars? Listeria is a bacteria that can be found in several different kinds of foods. For example, sprouts, deli meats, hot dogs. I don't even care which news service I go to, whether it's CNN, ABC, Fox, take your pick. There is some type of food constantly being called in saying there's something wrong with it. It's going on everywhere. They are creating diabetes, they are creating cancer, they are killing you. China has no respect for the environment. China has no respect for human life. China has no respect for anything other than the almighty dollar. They will manipulate the markets, they will do whatever they can. They are nothing but cheap, conniving culture. And that's the bottom line. 
They literally are the cockroaches of the world, and I don't care what people say. They don't have environment in mind. They don't think about what's next for our next generation. They don't think about, hey, is this healthy? They don't think about what is wrong, what is right, what we should do. So why are we even bringing food from China at all? All these red flags that China is killing us, and yet we should be saying no more. We are not bringing any more food or anything from China. We're done with it. How about chocolate? I mean, we all love chocolate, right? Well, toxic amounts of lead in chocolate? Are you kidding me? No. I am still surprised that I see Americans smoking or even vaping. I find it so amazing. I will watch a Facebook post and I will see people sit back and say, oh, my grandmother or my uncle or my sister has got cancer. And at the same time, they've got a cigarette sitting in their hand. Well, guess what? You're next. This is the world you live in. And the more I became aware of this and the more I keep seeing this, it is becoming harder and harder for me to buy food that is even good for me. I go and quit smoking three years ago. Okay, check. Pat myself on the back. But I'm not stopping anything. Even when I think I'm buying a healthy food, I'm getting something that's killing me. We're supposed to have FDA. We're supposed to have these groups put in place to protect us from this stuff happening. But we live in a country of money. And the more money you make with your business, the better it is. Sure, there are rules by the FDA when the chickens reach the factory and how we kill them. But there are no rules on how we stack the chickens on top of each other while they urinate on top of each other's heads so we bleach it. At one time, common sense was in place for society. A farmer would look at a diseased cow, what parts of the meat were diseased, and he would say, no, we cannot sell that at market. We must dig a hole and bury that and try not to breed any more of that family. Not today. Today, that cow costs a lot of money to feed. There's cancer all over the back leg of that cow. Let's see if we can just get a machete and cut those bad parts out and then put it, put it back on market. We lose a little bit of money, but at least we get out there. They're feeding you cancer. Some people love a cup of tea. Did you know eight popular tea bag companies can illegal amounts of deadly pesticides? And you will find most of your food has a lot of pesticide in it. They don't want you to live to 65. At all. They don't want you to reach that pension. Oh no. They want you to work hard. And when you almost get to that age where you can finally enjoy a little bit of life, watch a few sunrises and a few sunsets, they make sure you've gotten cancer. And now you're dead. How about the McRib sandwich? 70 ingredients that make this thing big, and it only comes back every now and then. Now what you're going to find interesting about this, especially McDonald's and especially USA, You also have to, like they're telling you, you have to keep in mind also the bun and what's inside the bun. Nobody walks into McDonald's and says, hey, what's the ingredients in your bun? You know. And one thing about McDonald's that it is proven, and it says it right here, they have a phenomenal marketing department. It doesn't matter if the food's healthy. It doesn't matter if it's got plastic in it, pesticides, sawdust. It does not matter. If you take some really good pictures and you do some great marketing, I hate to tell you this, guys, but the morons are still going to buy it. That's the scary part. This is actually how your McRib, McRib looks. Right there. That's what it looks like.
There's nobody protecting you. It doesn't exist. These corporations are allowed to sell whatever they want and have you eat it. So you think about that. After all, it is the American way. Again, like I said, these links are in the bottom. Go. How about artificial sweeteners? I mean, everybody wants to lose weight, don't eat sugar. Hey, let's do this. Wait a minute, what does that say? Increased diabetes? No. By up to 500%? So go ahead. Almost everything you pick up in your grocery store is going to give you cancer, diabetes, obesity, some form of of disease but hey everybody's concerned about the wall yeah that's real important you would think common sense would come into play but ask yourself this if you're actually still watching my video ask yourself this where do the filthy rich eat where does Donald Trump eat? Where do these senators eat? Where do these people eat that have all this money? Do you think they're going to Walmart and eating from those grocery stores? Do you think they're eating the stuff that you're looking at that I provided all this information to you about? Hell no. If you were that person with that much money, what would you have? You would have your own farm. You would have your own place you kill. You would have your own gardens where you grow. I wonder why you see them living until they're 101 and 110. Quite strange. What you put inside your body will determine your life. Now, a lot of people might say, well, I don't care. You know, if I die, I die. Big deal. It's part of life. I got to enjoy it, right? I don't think so much it's about passing away. I think it's about how much pain you're going to have passing away. When you become a diabetic, you give yourself needles in your bellies, your arms, your legs. Your belly completely ends up after a couple of years getting all kinds of bruises on it and severe pain and you can barely walk. It's a slow death. Wait, cancer, let's go through chemo and you see people turn to look like zombies and white ghosts when they're going through cancer. Go to any cancer hospital, you'll see the ashtray outside filled with cigarettes and packs of cigarettes saying, I quit. People get cancer to the throats, their throats are cut out. Bottom line is, your body is not made out of steel. It is not made into a super body. It is very, very delicate. Smoking, vaping, drinking, the foods, anything you put in your mouth that goes down in your belly is affecting your life. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a quick death, hey, great. Make the sign of the cross and thank the big guy upstairs. But if you're not, you very well could end up going through one to five years, maybe even ten years of severe pain. And the problem is, once you gain some of these diseases like diabetes, there's no going back. So live in a world of my government protects me. Live in a world to where you believe people care. But someday, you may wake up and understand the one percenters that are the richest in the corporations. You're nothing more than cattle to line their pockets while they sit on their yachts. At any rate, guys, links are in the bottom. Check them out. <sighs> Why are people not aware of this? I'll catch you guys on the next one.